All right, everyone. If a sample of 0 0.140 grams of KCN, potassium cyanide, is treated with an excess of HCl, hydrochloric acid, calculate the amount of HCN, or hydrogen cyanide, formed in grams. So the problem says you have 0 0.140 grams of KCN, of potassium cyanide, and uh, an infinite amount of hydrochloric acid. And they want you to calculate the amount of HCN, hydrogen cyanide, in grams. So this is a stoichiometry problem. We're going to be going mass to mass, mass of one reactant to the mass of one product. So problem says, again, you have 0 0.140 grams, and that is of KCN. We want, in the end, grams of HCN that will be formed if all of the KCN reacts. So this is mass to mass for stoichiometry, so that's going to be three conversion factors. One, two, three. Three conversion factors to get all the way from the mass of a reactant to the mass of a product. So first conversion factor, first step. We have to get rid of what we're starting with. We have to get rid of grams of KCN, and we want to turn that into moles of KCN. We can go grams to moles here. To convert between grams and moles, we need the molar mass. We need how many grams are in specifically one mole of KCN, and we're going to have to calculate the molar mass of KCN because it's not just one element, it's multiple elements. So we're going to add together a potassium plus a carbon plus a nitrogen. We're going to add up the molar masses of those elements and only one of each because in the formula it's only 1K, 1C, and 1N. There's no subscripts. So looking at the periodic table, we see for potassium the molar mass is 39.10. So 39.10, and that's grams per mole, plus carbon is 12.01 grams per mole, and then plus nitrogen, 14.01 grams per mole. So that will be the molar mass of KCN. So those three added together gives us 65.12 grams per mole for the molar mass. Now that value we're going to use in our first conversion. We have one mole on top, and we're going to put the 65.12 grams on the bottom because we want grams of KCN to cancel with grams of KCN on top and bottom. So now we're at moles of KCN. We want to get rid of that. Second conversion factor, we're going to use the mole ratios. We're going to use the coefficients. It is a 1 to 1 ratio. Okay, each of the coefficients are only 1, hence we didn't write them. So for our units, we want to get rid of moles of KCN and we want moles of HCN. We want the product that we're going to in the end. And again, it's a 1 to 1 ratio looking at the coefficients. So then here, moles of KCN will cancel with moles of KCN. And we have moles of HCN. We want to go to mass. So we got to get rid of the moles of HCN, and we want grams of HCN. So for this third step, we need the molar mass of HCN, hydrogen cyanide. We need for one mole, how many grams is that? So we're going to have to calculate the molar mass of HCN. So just like we did before, except a little different, we're going to be adding up a hydrogen plus a carbon 
plus a nitrogen. Hydrogen we haven't used yet, so looking at the periodic table, we see the molar mass is 1.01 .01 grams per mole, right around there, depending on the periodic table you're looking at. And then we already looked at carbon. It's, again, 12.01 grams per mole plus nitrogen, 14.01 grams per mole. Add those all together, and we get... 27.03 grams per mole. So that number goes into our conversion factor up top this time because grams are on top. So 27.03 grams of HCN is one mole of HCN. Looking at our units now, moles of HCN will cancel with moles of HCN. On the top of the second conversion factor, bottom of the third conversion factor. So we're going to be left with just final units of grams of HCN. So now let's do the math. What are we going to plug into our calculator? Well, we're going to put 0 0.140 times the top of the first conversion factor, which is 1, so we can skip that, divided by the bottom. So we'll do divided by 65.12. The second conversion factor, the top is 1 and the bottom is 1. So we're just going to ignore the math there because it's not going to change our value. We just needed it to convert our units. And then third conversion factor multiplied by the top, so times 27.03. And then we would divide by 1, but that's not going to change it. So we're going to skip that and just hit equals. And we get 0 0.0581 grams. So final answer. If all 0 0.140 grams of KCN reacts in the following reaction, we will get 0 0.0581 grams of HCN produced. Alright everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos, and thank you, thank you so much for watching.